I'm a free market guy, so I mean, I think we'll get it uh, it all right. In in the long run, it basically does come down. I mean, it, it, it's kind of buyer beware, and uh, I'd rather have individuals making their decisions out uh, using their common sense rather than the federal government. Uh, the reason we're doing all this eight years ago, we had a financial crisis. Uh, that was, I don't think there's any debate where it started in the housing sector due to brilliant policy on Fannie and Freddie. And we told the bankers they could no longer assess risk. And the federal government took it over and did liar loans and no income loans and all that. And then we repackaged them and it went viral into the financial markets. And so uh, I'd rather go back to the old days of letting the individuals go to their bankers and, and, and do mortgages and let the free market operate. Uh, nothing's perfect, but uh, right now, D.C., uh, is is not running uh, many of their programs too well. And, and to your point on buyer beware, the Choice Act is also going to deflate the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which was set up to protect consumers. I mean, do you think buyer beware is a is a good lingo, especially in the wake of the Wells Fargo bank account scandal last year? I mean, is this a good time now to be gutting the CFPB? Well, we we just need to do a better job of educating our kids in the first place, right? I taught economics for 20 years at the college level kids coming out of high school don't know what a price or a cost or a profit or a business or an entrepreneur is and so i don't like the buyer beware piece but i don't i don't know of any systematically better uh, way to run an economy right if you're going to put the federal government in charge of running and regulating everything and the cfpb there was the there were you know major oversight problems uh with that and so uh, i i want to move back uh to, to uh, letting individuals uh, have as much latitude as possible. You want common sense regulations and reforms in.